Hello, Applied Imagery is pleased to announce the release of QuickTrain Modeler version 8.4.0. It's a very exciting release for us, so let's jump right in. QT Data Explorer is our biggest new tool in years. It revolutionizes the search for online geospatial data by delivering a simple yet powerful tool to search, discover, explore, and download geospatial files from Stack API data repositories. STACK stands for Spatio-Temporal Access Catalog, which is an extremely efficient way to aggregate spatial data of any kind, point clouds, DSMs, imagery, vectors, etc., and make it easily and quickly searchable. These repositories could be open source like Microsoft Planetary Computer, or it could be your own private STACK repository. In addition, you can use this tool to discover and load data from QTM-created index and cache files. So here it is in action. I open the QT Data Explorer, Zoom to Chicago on my map, draw an area of interest or an AOI, the yellow rectangle around downtown Chicago, point to a stack server here, Microsoft Planetary Computer, and define a keyword search of LiDAR. I click Find Collections. I see a bunch of collections, but I'm interested in point clouds. So I highlight point clouds, click Find Items. And this is what I see six tiles over my area of interest. All I need to do now is choose what to do with them. So I load them into QT Modeler. Click load and the downloads start. I see progress in the progress bar as well as the coloration of the tile scheme in the scene. Once the downloads are complete, I see my six point clouds in the layer tree. At this point, I simply continue working in Quick Terrain Modeler like I normally would. It's worth noting that if you also need imagery of this area of interest, the WMS tool is a great complement to QT Data Explorer. QT Modeler's new export layer tree to KMZ function exports all layer tree content into a single KMZ file that can be opened in Google Earth or any software that can read KMZ. This can condense work that you've done into, in QT Modeler into a single compact file for our DoD users, this is an excellent interim step on the way to ATAC, which will keep the folder hierarchy organized exactly as you see it in Qt Modeler. Here I'm synchronizing the view to Google Earth and all markers, routes, annotations, even marker icons are represented in, in Google Earth. It's worth noting that 3D data and textures are not included as part of this export. There are a couple new things about annotations in version 8.4.0 as well. First, there's a small library of built-in colorized range rings. This is a big time saver for our users who create the same exact range rings again and again. You'll have to add this as a stencil. So right click on your marker, shapes, place stencil. There's a new library called range rings. And within there are a handful of range rings that are very common in our user base. In addition, any vector can be saved as a stencil and that will preserve all the features and the colors as well. Again, a very big time saver for our users. So that's just a few of the new features in Quick Terrain Modeler version 8.4.0. To learn more, check out our website, give us a call or send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.